Hello everyone. So welcome to the last video of the series OAS Top 10 and today we will discuss about the insufficient logging and monitoring. So first off let's discuss what is the insufficient log monitoring. So insufficient in logging and monitoring coupled with missing or ineffective integration with incident response will allow an attacker to further attack the system. So suppose you do not have a good monitoring and logging and monitoring system. You don't know if someone has breached into your system. For example someone has like you know breached to your house and, and you don't know that uh, the attacker is still inside your house can do and launch further attacks like they can steal more information they can steal more like you know a physical jewelry and stuff like that in your in your house so similarly if you don't know the attacker exists in your system will allow them to further attack the systems and, and this is very common across all the breaches that you would see like be it like you know microsoft breach or a windows uh, breach or, or latest uh, solar winds or, or anything the, the monitoring and logging detection is is very critical thing uh, if you can detect the attack earlier than the attacker actually exploited that would be a huge win for your organization so that's why even though this is uh, the last one on the top 10 list i would still consider this as as good as like you know any other vulnerability like SQL injection or cross-site scripting. The next thing it will allow you is allow attacker to maintain persistence and power to more systems, right? As I said, so if they have access to one system and we don't, we don't detect as an organization, then it will allow them to power to more systems, configure like, you know, attack in fact more systems and reach those systems and gather more data. And that would also allow them to temper, extract or destroy this data. So that's why this logging and monitoring becomes so much critical. And most bridge studies that show like you know that there is at least it takes around 200 days to detect a breach so someone has hacked into your account you have seen like many times that these china hackers russian hackers and and this all the hacking groups have breached into something and and we get notified like you know at least as an end user we would only get notified after so many days the attack has happened and it will take so much time for the organization to leak, dig through the logs and find out how many accounts have been breached what information is leaked and all this information so typically it takes around 200 days rather than like you know if you had some nice mechanism to detect and, and monitor and prevent this breach earlier in the life cycle then that would save a lot of money to the organization now the second question is during the pen test let's say you have been tasked to pen test this or stop 10 so how do you how do you test this how do you test this control whether the application or website has a good control so first thing you want to uh, try is try to brute force like on the login page or on any other api like maybe it's an authenticated api so you perform this brute force attempts or force attack and see if if the uh, in the back end of course you would have to ask the read-only access to whatever the log mechanism or software that they're using see if the your attempts are showed up there and and also if there is a threshold or or alarm set for for this event so if the event if if let's say a system receives 100 attempts per minute then it should trigger an alarm and then of course I'm, I'm just giving an example it could be anything else but it should trigger an alarm which will like you know trigger like sac ops or or it team to to see and 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 prevent this attack from further exploiting the system the other thing that you also want to see is the cloud logging so if they're using like a cloud log cloud trail cloud watch you want to check those logs and make sure it has all the necessary information like where the attack is originated and uh, which system it's being attacked on and what the time and everything so you want to check those things and if you don't find any of this thing then it's it has to be a, a, a like you know a vulnerability even though this is not a like let's say you don't see an alarm of if and after you brute force the system right you don't see any alarm that means that it is possible that someone the future attacker can and breach those and the security team will not be notified and which will allow them to further attack the system so this even though it's a, not a technical vulnerability like sql injection or something this will still this still qualifies as a vulnerability because there is a clear risk of not having any of the systems any of these things so how do you prevent this vulnerability we briefly uh, talked about this one already as we are talking through the pen test tips the first thing is logs with sufficient info but not sensitive so there are two things here we need to make sure one log should have the sufficient information or, and it should be able to answer like what why where etc right so who tried to attack this what system are they attacking on when did they start the attack how long the attack lasted what information the attacker got and all this information has to be captured in the logs the second thing is we do not want to capture sensitive information in the logs so things like session token or any PII information suppose you are logging this information in the logs so during the pen test if you found that information clearly raised as a security finding because this is not a valid thing if you have a 
security tokens in the logs that means one can impersonate use that token to impersonate any valid user which will be a clearly another security breach uh, second thing is proper monitoring so once you have a good logging mechanism make sure you also have a good monitoring mechanism so one should be able to uh, like you know just just take an example and you must have seen in the movies as well there is a building and they have security cameras everywhere there is a security guard as well but uh, instead of looking at the camera security guard is sleeping and so even after you have all this mechanism but if you are not monitoring those logs then there is it's of no use so same way you need to make sure as someone is actively paying attention to these logs you are regularly auditing these logs and stuff like that so make sure you have this mechanism in place as well last one is the incident response plan suppose you have all this mechanism you have ids ips you have sim solution even though attacker be able to was able to got past all of your controls and be able to breach your system now you should have this incident response plan so that will allow you to react in that pressure situation and i would think this as a like you know business continuity planning so if disaster occurs for example we all had covid pandemic if we had known this pandemic is coming and we had prepared ourselves for that and practiced like you know many organization was not equipped with the vpn and remote work and all this they had to learn while the the pandemic was going on and which obviously hit their uh, like you know productivity of the productivity of the employees so same way if you uh, if you plan it out your incident response so if let's say if the breach happens who is going to responsible for what and how uh, people will react into their situation how do we get the system back into the online uh, without like you know and remove the attackers and all those if you already uh, plan it out and and probably at least do stable top exercise it will be much easier like you know and peace of mind if the real incident would occur and then you at least you have to just go through the items and checklist make sure you are just covering those things and and be able to back online as soon as possible so these are some like you know co- uh, top 10 vulnerabilities that we discuss in this series i'm sure like this was very basic information and we are covering the exploiting of all these vulnerabilities individually into the penetration test uh, play list so be sure to watch uh, watch that but if you don't know some of these vulnerabilities then top 10 uh, this playlist will be absolutely good for you to get some initial information be sure to like and subscribe to uh, this channel and follow us on on facebook also please leave a comment and let me know what other information videos uh, like you know content that you're looking for so i can plan that accordingly that's it for now thank you so much and and you all have a good day thank you